So what is up? It is your boy Taz, and you already know the count. We are back with another banger for the one time, man. What's good? We got another five video for y'all today, man. It's been a little minute since I dropped the story time on my channel. So if you read the title, man, you already know what this one is about. Let's just get right into it, man. This is a story time about what happened between me and my first love. Yes, first real relationship. Let's just hop into the story of what happened. Hopefully this one come out as a bank. This all starts back in the summer of 2013, I want to say. Like, the summer right after my freshman year of high school. So it all started like this. So basically, my summer of 2013, after freshman year ended, I went to like this little summer camp, you know what I'm saying? Like for teens and whatnot. It was called Teens with a Purpose or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Norfolk, so it was like this camp they had going on at the time. I don't know if they still run it or not, but at the time, you know, I'm not old enough to work. I just wanted something to do, really. So I looked at this little summer camp, you know what I'm saying? Signed up for it. You know, parents agree for you to go and shit like that. Got enrolled, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like on a day-to-day, -day, I'm meeting like a bunch of people in the city and shit. You know, that's my age, whatever. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's some... There's some valid females up in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm young, I ain't got no girl at the time, you know what I mean? Never really had like a real, I had some middle school shit going on, but middle school really don't mean nothing. So of course, as I'm getting older, like I'm really trying, you know what I mean? Like, see what's up to the females now. Like I'm getting to a point where you can kind of start dibbling, dabbling, doing a little something, something, not nothing too crazy. So it's a couple in there, but it's like one that catch my eye, like in particular and shit in the so camp. I'm, where I'm like, dang, yo, like she's valid. She got some potential and whatnot, but it's a couple. So I ain't really apply like too, too much pressure on like the one I ended up getting with. Cause I'm talking to people, seeing what's swimming and everything. So as the summer camp ends, you know, we cool with everybody. Everybody kind of talk, got everybody got everybody's socials, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We don't really talk too much. You know what I'm saying? So that pretty much is like the gist of like how we kind of got acquainted far as where we start talking and everything, that picks up in 2014. So we're gonna transition to 2014, where everything really, really like take off of me. Right. So January 2014, I remember specifically, what happened was I was out to eat my peoples and I used to post like a lot, just like random shit on my Instagram back in like 2014, I was a little younger. I was like posting just hella shit on my page, like regularly or whatever. So I remember I did like a little selfie. I threw a picture of myself up there and Shorty from the camp had commented. You know what I'm saying? The girl that I was feeling. And for the sake of the story time, we gonna call her Tori. I ain't gonna say her first name because she told me not to do it. Like I told her I was gonna do the story time. She told me don't say her first name. So we just gonna call her Tori for the sake of the story time, whatever. So I post a little flip on my gram and then Tori comment and shit, whatever. So I'm, you know what I mean? I'm peeping. I'm like, all right, yeah, she did this job from camp. You know what I mean? Cause that had been a little minute. Like I'm still talking to the people from the camp here and there, but it had been a minute since like me and her had talked. So when she commented or whatever, I'm like, ah, right, yeah, like, I, I, remember, I remember, you know what I'm saying? So we kind of start talking here and there, exchange numbers and everything. So now we in like the little talking phase. We're talking, man, really just really getting to know each other, like on some one-on-one -on -one type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we young though, so I think at the time I'm 16 and she 14 at the time. So, you know, we young. So like I said, you kind of, at this age, you kind of dibbling and dabbling and like the talking to people and whatnot. So it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Getting to know somebody, you know what I'm saying? And kind of getting in that first like little dating phase because after a couple weeks of like talking we officially became like a couple i guess you could say you know what i mean so that little summer camp that we had went to they still did shit like during the actual school year which i didn't know so it was like not only was it a summer camp it was also like on some rec center type like you know if you went here at any point still pull up we still got stuff going on for the kids whatever whatever so at the time you know of course with you know overprotective parents or whatnot she technically couldn't really like have a boyfriend for, for real so it was like my only like real way to like really talk to her was either through Kick, which you know, Kick was the shit at the time. Nigga stayed in the Kick parties with all your friends and shit. This is like way before iMessage, you know what I'm saying? Really was the thing where everybody had iPhones. So Kick was the shit. Everybody used to just talk on Kick, folk people on Kick. It was in the Kick parties, you know what I'm saying? Talking our shit there. And I'll pull up to the little joint and see her there, you know what I'm saying? And just carry it to our peoples that, you know what I'm saying? We were just cool with her. Like a couple weeks talking, everything is good. We officially became a couple on like on February 4th, 2014. It's crazy how my memory, I still got all my, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So February 4th, 2014, we officially become a couple and shit. You know what I'm saying? So this is like my first official girlfriend at this point. We go into the little events and everything. Lincoln with her there, that's kind of like our, our dates. I guess you could say us doing the little Saturday events or whatnot. And when the adults ain't looking and shit like that, you know, we booed up and everything, you know. We ain't doing nothing crazy off the wall. It's like age appropriate, you know what I'm saying? Little kitty shit, but... You know what I'm saying? This, this, this my little, yeah, this my little situation. You feel me? So, shit was really cool initially. You know what I'm saying? That was also like my first kiss and everything like that. 
So, you know, this is like the first real girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Overall, I'm kind of, it's, it's a dope experience, a dope feeling. I fucking with the little vibe. And like I said, she was cute. I felt like she had a lot of potential and everything like that. But here's our, like, where the problems are with this situation, you know what I'm saying? So this is my first relationship. Like, I'm fucking with it. But some of the things that made it hard was she had a really overprotective parents and she didn't go to the same school as me. So I'm only 16 at the time. Like, I got my permit and shit, but I don't have, like, a car. I don't got my L's to just go whip whenever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's kind of hard to really fuck somebody when they don't go to the same school as you and you don't got no wheels to just pull up on them whenever and they not in the same neighborhood as you. So not being able to see somebody on a consistent basis that you fucking with, like made it, you know what I'm saying, pretty hard, which caused like some stress on the relationship. Like where it was like, uh, I don't really know if this is gonna work. Don't get me wrong, she was cool and I was fucking with her heavy, but it's like, yo, if I can't never link with you and shit, it's kind of hard for this like join to really like go somewhere like on some serious shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, if you really gonna get to the next level like in a relationship, you kind of really gotta spend a lot of time with that person to get to know them. And it's like, if you're homeschooled, you can't never really do shit and you're doing this on some sneak shit all the time. It's like, I'm kind of sort of getting older and it's like, bro, I, don't, I shouldn't have to do all that. Like my mama already know what the fuck going on me, what I got going on, I'm, I'm fucking with you. But it's like, it's this secret on your end and I really won't fucking with that at the time. I go to Norview and it's, I ain't gonna cap it with some hoes at Norview, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of fucking with me on a certain kind of a level. Like I'm in class with, you know what I'm saying, some valid females. I'm in lunch with some valid females that I'm talking to and shit. Like I won't cheat and nothing like that, but it was just more so like, yo, like I'm seeing them every day and I get to really kick it and talk to them every day, but it's like, I can't really do nothing because it's like I'm with you and I don't want to be on no cheating shit. Like if I really wanted to, I wouldn't have got caught, but it's just on some where it's like, this situation and all the shit I got to go through is really not worth it because it's like, what is the point of doing this? So what ends up happening is in March of 2014, it was like, yo, like, I fuck with you heavy, but this whole like being secretive shit and not being able to really do nothing with you is like, eh, I can't, can't really fuck with it for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, we still stay cool, really want no bad butter, no beef, you know what I'm saying? The one thing I fucked with so heavy was... She was never a female that did the most. Like, she was real chill, real laid back. Was, I, I ain't gonna say obsessed, but really was just all for me early on. Like, it was like I could do no wrong almost. And I really fuck with that. And one thing about it, bro, is I got I didn't appreciate this and really didn't understand it until I got older. One thing, for sure, two things for certain. If somebody fuck with you heavy and they only worried about you and they, like, they, they whole concern and revolve around fucking with you and making sure you good, Cherish that shit, bro, because a lot of these females ain't shit out here. Like, really ain't shit. <laughs> so now that me and her not together no more, I'm talking to other females, fuck with other females and shit that actually go to school with or whatever. And as I got older, like, I finally had started driving. I had my L's and shit, so I could go bust moves. So we would have our peers where we was, like, start fucking with each other again. But it was, like, the way her peoples was, it still kind of made that shit hard to do. But she kind of got, like, a little bit more freedom as time went on. But just me being young, you know what I'm saying, like, it was like she was cool, but at the same time, it was like, I guess you could kind of say I was having my whole phase, if you will, where it was like, I, she fuck with me, but I want to see what's to her. I want to see what's to her. I want to see what's to her. Like, I was pretty much, you know what I mean? Just having my fun. Like, I'm, you know, saying through the years, because we was on and off for like a long period of time. Like, from the time we was like teenagers, like as we transitioned to adulthood, you know what I'm saying? Just going through different shit or whatever. So I'm having my fun, doing my thing. And it was like for a while, I was like, she would pretty much let me do that. Then when I got tired of fuck who I was fucking with, I could always come back to her and be like, yo, what's good? Now we talking for a little bit. And I transitioned back into my, on my whole shit again. And it was like, I didn't expect anybody to like, you know what I'm saying? Just deal with that for extended period of time. But if you fuck with somebody, sometimes you go through a point where you learn to accept them flaws and all, whatever, whatever. So like my senior year of high school, I remember I was dating like a whole another girl. Me and that girl break up like as senior year ends. So I went to TCC, I went to community college and shit. So I want to say it was either my, this probably was my sophomore year, my last year at TCC, me and my my first love, you know what I'm saying, Tori, we reconnected and shit for like a brief little minute or whatever. And for the longest time, bro, like she was still like just down for just me and me only for at least, at least from what I was told, I don't know if this is, you know what I'm saying, off facts or not, but for a minute, I was like her only body for the long, for the longest time, whatever, and she really was just really off of me, and again, I'm still young at the time, I'm, I'm 20 and she's 18, I believe, or I was 21 and she was 19, one or two, you know what I'm saying, and of course, I'm still going through my, my little transitional phase, I guess you could say, where females are paying me attention, and it's really hard for me to just be all about one, just because it's like, I I really I'm really trying to like figure out what's for me, what I, what I'm supposed to be, who I'm supposed to build with, or whatnot. It was hard for me to identify that early. 
So just me playing around and shit, of course, you know what I'm saying? She like, I guess she got to a point where she just won't go on for it no more, which is understandable. You know what I'm saying? I was, I had a lot of growing up to do. And I'm happy I eventually got through that phase, but it came to a point where I was like, all right, I done had my fun. I done did me. I done, I done fucked all the majority of the people I wanted smash and everything like that. So I was like, yo, I'm, I'm done playing games. But I'm like, yo, I'm done playing games. Like, I'm done bullshit. Like, what's up with us? You know what I'm saying? And at that point, you know what I mean? I guess just, you know what I'm saying? Or her and it's like, yo, nigga, I've been waiting for you for a good little minute to get your shit together. Like, nigga, I'm outside now. Like, the, the little thing you was going through, nigga, I'm dating now. And I'm outside. I'm seeing what's to this person, what's to that person. And we're like, damn. Like, <laughs> that's when I got the reality check, you know what I'm saying? That, bro, ain't nobody going to wait around on you to get your shit together, bro. It's on some, like, nigga, either you going to be here or you not. It ain't going to be none of that. And I guess, like, when I was trying to come back and, and, and fuck with just her, it was like, nah, fam, it's too late. <laughs> For a good little minute, I'm like, damn, yo, I really fucked up. I don't let a good one get away. Man, I spent a good little minute, you know what I'm saying, trying try to get back right with, you know what I'm saying, getting that back and saying like, yo, like, I ain't gonna say I was begging, but I might have been borderline begging just a little bit, like on some, bro, please just, just fuck with your boy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I promise I'm all about you, only focused on you, man. She went along for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was doing the faith I was going through. It was her time, basically. And, of course, you know what I'm saying? She obviously had the right to do that, so I couldn't be mad at it. Even I was. Just a, just, just a little bit salty. You feel so, me? So, per usual, go through the little phase where we won't talk for a good little minute. You know what I'm saying? It might have been maybe a year and some change when we ain't talk. Then I think out of nowhere, I hit her up and I'm like, yo, what's good? You know, like I normally do. Just be for a little minute and hit her up. And she was like, yo, what's good? It's good to talk to you, this, that, and third. But she was like, yeah, you ain't going to talk to me, though, when I tell you uh, what I got to tell you. And I'm like, don't tell me. Don't tell me she's going to tell me what I think she's about to tell me. God, I know I, I asked for a lot of things, but I'm like, I don't want to get this news, God. No, don't, no. <laughs> like, once she said that, it's like I already knew what it was. But I was just praying on Trim. Like, bro, not my first love, bro, because no. It's just, why, why me? <laughs> like... Why? I know I was doing my thing, had my fault, but why me? That's why I was like, bro, you pregnant, aren't you? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, damn. Damn, it's over. It's raps. Like, you got a baby with somebody else. Somebody else decided to lock that ass down for 18 years because I was bullshitting. Damn, that, that shit hurt just a little bit. It hurt a little bit. Like, damn, yo, it should have been me. That's supposed to be my person. That's supposed to be my baby mom, bro. That's supposed to be my wife, but I was bullshitting. So, of course, it was one of them things where I was like, I just had to just take it for what it was. I was like, damn. You know what I mean? But, of course, someone will ill will to her. Like, I won't matter her in that life, bro. You was living your life. So, it was on some damn, like, I understand. Well, congrats, first and foremost. I'm happy for you. At the end of the day, we, we were still cool with, like, all of these little times we weren't talking. And we're like, yo, I'm happy for you. I hope all is well. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, of course, I know how it is. When you first, like, get pregnant, you're trying to make that family work, you're trying to keep it together, so I'm like, yo, if you got some shit going on, I ain't even about to come to you with my bullshit right now, just, yo, a nigga's here for you, on some homie shit, if you ever need to talk about shit, and kind of just go at that point, we stopped talking entirely, like, and then, I want to say, that was maybe 2019, or maybe end of 2018, when we had that convo about, you know what I'm saying, her being pregnant and everything like that, so 2020 comes, and I get in a serious relationship, like, full-fledged serious relationship, early January of 2020, I start talking to this girl. March, we get in a real relationship and everything. Like a year into my relationship, me and girl start having a lot of problems. Like the new girl I'm with now, you know what I'm saying? 2021, me and her start having like a lot of problems. Shit, well, I'm just, bro, I, don't, I just don't know. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying everything, but it's just not clicking, bro. I feel like I'm doing way too much and I'm just really stressed out. And I like hate myself, bro. Like I was so depressed in 2021, bro. It don't even make no sense. We'll get into that relationship right now because it's like that's a whole nother story time for a whole nother situation. We'll make a video on that later. That's pretty much like I had to do like what I had to do. Like at that point, I was just so fucked up, man. I turned to the one person that has always been there for me through everything. Like everything, everything. So like I want to say it might have been around, mm, might have been April, May. 2021, I reached out to Tori. You know what I'm saying? She always been there for me. Always been there for my bullshit. We hadn't talked in a good little minute. She had her baby and everything. But I'm just like, yo, like, reached out. I'm like, yo, I don't know, like, really where to begin. I know we ain't talking a minute. I know you probably got your own shit going on. Your body need to vent, bro. Like, 
yo, like, you get good advice, you always been here for a nigga, like, yo, what am I doing wrong right now? Like, what do I do? Yeah, they're finally, like, reconnecting shit, and then finally, I pull up on her and everything, so, what? And what ultimately like, leads up to that is, like, I tell my newer girl I was fucking with at the time, I'm, like, we broke up uh, numerous times on many occasions or whatever. So this time I'm tickled, I'm like, yo, like, for real, for real, done with this shit, we can't do it no more, I done tried, it's, like, I'm not fucking with you right now. So, per usual, what I always do when I go get single, go holla at Tori, basically. I'm unreliable. She's always there for me. I fuck with her heavy. <laughs> but yeah, man, so I go pull up on her and we linger shit and we just get to talking, man. And I'm just like, yo, like, this was going on. This, like, I'm really trying, I, I'm trying everything I possibly can to make this shit work, like, what's going on, basically. And then she pretty much skipped it to me on some, like, bro, it ain't you. It's her. She the problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? If a nigga did X, Y, Z, how you doing, basically, like, I'd be grateful for all that shit. Like, it wouldn't be no complaints and everything, whatever. So, it was kind of just refreshing to, like, you know what I'm saying, have somebody who genuinely know you and really just, like, look, if you gonna do this, you this gotta change. If you, you know what I'm saying, dealing with this, this gotta change. Like, really just, really putting me in place on my end, but also telling me, like, don't let nobody take advantage of me neither. It was a good talk, man, knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, overall, we just, like, I vented about my situation. She had been telling me what was going on with her. And it was just good to know, like, despite through all our bullshit we done been through over, like, seven years of, like, talking, fuck with each other on and off, it's like, it's good to know that, one, we still tight and we still cool. And then it's just, like, we always going to have that, you know what I'm saying, little bond, like, where we may not talk every day. We may date other people. We may have our own shit going on. But, like, we still there for each other when we need it. And that's, like, an important thing to have. And it's, like, an underrated flex, low-key. Not everybody can say that they have that from a person, if we're being completely honest. This is a crazy thing, though. So, like, as we talking more and more and shit like that, the old feelings is kind of sort of settling in there just, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, she had just had her baby and everything not too long ago, but she wasn't where, you know what I'm saying, her man's anymore. So, we talking or whatever. I pulled up on her. I think one of her friends, and she brings her baby outside. So, I meet her baby for the first time. And you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know me. I love kids. Like, kids is like my weakness, man. Kids are so cute and everything like that. So I'm seeing her baby. I'm holding her daughter and whatnot. And she was just like, yeah, baby, this supposed to be your daddy right here. Girl, don't even do that. <laughs> don't do that. Because you're right. Your child is kind of supposed to be my child. But no, I was trying to get you back, bro. I was trying to get you back. You was outside. You was, you, you was outside, man. You was doing your thing. So don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Even though I was a little salty, like, we ain't had our first kid together. You know what I'm saying? You had one you had one on me in a way. You know what I mean? But but still don't do that, man. Because it's like, now you got my feelings resurfacing for where I feel some tight way. But <laughs> it was all it was all jokes, man. It was all good and everything like that. But, Tori, if you watch watching, just so you know, like, I could still be baby daddy number two, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't know. We don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, you know, we had that little talk and everything. You know what I'm saying? We talked for a brief, I would say a pretty solid period when I was technically single and like a dumbass. Um, you know, once again, I get back with the crazy person. So when I get back with crazy person, me and Tori really aren't talking like that and whatnot. But I eventually leave crazy all alone together. You know what I'm saying? I recently moved down to Charlotte. So I'm I'm leaving crazy alone entirely. The crazy new person. Me and Tori to this day, we're still cool. You know what I'm saying? We still talk. And they recently just like reconnected once again on some just like, yo, like how everything been? I know I ain't talked to you in a while. Like what's good with you? She doing good. And that's a, you know what I'm saying? A good thing to know overall. That she good with everything she got going on in life. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that we still going to be homies or whatever. We probably, I don't know if. You know what I'm saying? We'll have to, like, get together again and some shit like that. But as long as we cool, that's just the important thing. You know what I'm saying? I wish her all the success, all the blessings and all that, and her future and whatever she got going on. Hope she's successful in everything she does. And I know the feeling is, you know what I'm saying, mutual towards me as well. But that's going to be all for this story time, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? The lesson and all of that was that, one, I had a really... That was probably, like, the realest girl like, I ever fuck with on any level for her. Somebody who was just really down for me and always had my back. But it's one of them things where it's like, bro, if you fuck with somebody and they really fuck with you, don't take them for granted, bro. You're not going to find that in every person. And I learned that the hard way. After trial and error, dating numerous people, fuck with numerous people, Tori was the realest by far to all of them. You know what I'm saying? Also, her glow up was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Probably the baddest out of all of them, too. You know <laughs> you know what I mean? So, just if I could do it all over again, I probably would have just I probably would have just stayed with her and shit. And this would be, you know what I'm saying? You would see a whole different me. But I feel like, honestly, bro, God put us through different situations. He don't put us in that we can't handle and everything happens for a reason. So every battle that I went through, every L I took, every situation that was frustrating and depression and all that, 
I had to go through all that for a reason because it made me who I am. And everything that's, you know what I'm saying, happened with her, she had to go through that because that's what made her who she is. And it's like, honestly, God going to surround us with people who going to really teach us lessons and just really make us and get the best form of us, if that makes sense. Like, you want to be around people to get the best version out of you, and you go through these trials and tribulations to, you know what I'm saying, get the best version of yourself. So that's what I learned, man. You know, don't be like me if you... Meet somebody in their room, hold on to that person, but that'd be my advice to, you know what I'm saying, anybody watching this video, man. But I want to thank y'all for watching the story time. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. If you fuck with it, definitely hit the like button, you know what I'm saying, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you can stay up to date when I'm dropping new bangers because your boy's always dropping new bangers. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. My socials are down below. If you want to see me do more story times, comment it down below. You know what I'm saying, follow me on everything, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.